Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to this new video uh, where I will show you a bit of the layers work in Graal, if you are not familiar with it, and uh, we will have uh, the exercise of that practice. And uh, if you're interested, you can even share you this template, or you can just repeat it yourself. So let's jump into it. <laughs> uh, so the idea is just I wanted to make a video to explain how the layers work when you are designing in Mural, which is pretty basic. It's just bring to front or bring to back. Uh, you cannot open like um, in Illustrator or other tools like uh, to see all the layers that they are structured and move them directly, which is quite convenient. But in Mural, unfortunately, we cannot do this yet. I don't know if it will come one day. So we have to play with the bring to front, bring to back. So we can still do a lot of stuff, but if you want this to be not too difficult, you have to think about some hacks and tricks and logic. Uh, the first thing is when you create a sticky, it's always in the front. And if you duplicate or anything that is created after, by default, is in front. So if I change the color, and you can see that it's in front. So that's the main thing when you create something or you duplicate. Uh, I just created quickly this um, elements to make a burger I mean, it's pretty basic i cannot call this a burger it's just a, a circle with a bit of uh, 3d like it's very very basic but just to explain the idea so you see that nice burger if i zoom in there's the bottom of the bread the beef cheese salada and uh, the top of the bread which is normal burger if you check now on the right it's get more difficult uh, you would not eat this, you know, the UX of this burger is not good. And it's the same for Mural. If you miss, mess up the front back layer things, the Mural is going to be messy. Uh, so how to do this easy? So I created some bacon slice, as you can see. And uh, if I want to add it inside, you will see that. In that case, it's just uh, on the top of the burger, which is not what you want. So one thing you can do is to take the the Last one, I mean the one in the front, you bring it more to front so your bacon is inside. This is one way. But if you want it to be like between the, the beef and the cheese where it's more tasty, it's going to be more difficult. You would have to bring everything in front. Uh, say I would bring the salad in front, but now the salad is on top of everything. So I have to bring to front again, top of the burger. I want one layer. And now I want it between the cheese. And so I have to bring the cheese, the salad and the burger to front. And if I select all of them, at least it will keep this kind of structures with easier difficulty. So that's the way uh, to manage. Here now the idea is to see if we can recreate the burger as the right, with things on the left. So for this, I created a little exercise here. So the trick is like, if I just created this shape in the good order, it would be super easy to make it, for example, if I select this one, I duplicate, and let's say I just open it. You will see what I mean. Uh, if I have this, uh, it's going to be easy because they are already prepared. So if I bring the beef, if I add the bacon, cheese, salad, and eventually top, it's working well, you know, because it's already prepared. But Let's say you want to do it with this one, which can be a, a fun exercise, actually, if you want to do like a competition of who is the best to uh, create uh, front back layers or just for people to learn as well how it works, you know, this is logical. The more you practice, I think the more it gets easy. Because if I want to take the bottom of the bread, I want to drag the steak. Oh, the steak is behind, first problem. Then I would bring salada, maybe. Salada is hidden, I would bring the cheese oh, it's on the top. The top of the bread would be under, and the big one, I, I didn't even know. So, see, this is not the burger. So, you have to set the parts front, try to make it good. So, the first thing that you should do is to bring, like you take this first one, you bring it to the back so that you are sure it's the thing the most in the back for the moment. And then, if you bring the steak, it will be on top. Next, if you want the bacon, put here. For the moment, it's on top because it was the thing the most on the top. It means that if I add this bread, it's not there. So for the moment, the bacon, you can let it this way anyway. We cannot really change it. It's just for what's next. So it says salada. So it's not working. So salada, you have to bring to front. 
it is in cheese. Normally, it's the cheese before the salad. Let's see if the cheese is working. It's hidden by the bacon because it was done before. So you have to go to front. Then you would put the salada. But as you move the cheese, you have to move the salada again. And then you can take the bread and bring it to front, which is the last one. And then it works. So the main tip here is like sometimes it's better to start from the beginning if you have something you are not sure what is where. And be sure that the first thing is at the back. And the more you add, you always bring to front, bring to front, bring to front. So that you are sure of the sequence. It can be more difficult if you have a huge bar with many things, but I often recommend to do it like this. So otherwise, you will get lost somehow. And that's how after you have some area when you drop a new cookie hidden behind something and you are, you are lost, you don't understand what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, I think understanding this uh, concept is very important when you want to sell a board. And I hope this burger it was fun. I cannot recall this burger. I know it's terrible design, but I did it very quickly in the uh, this five seconds, you would make a circle, you would it want it to create green for salada, then you duplicate, which is in the front. So either I select the first one, which is a donor to make the kind of depth for salada, steak, whatever. Uh, and then it works anyway. You just group and here you have a salad. <laughs> Terrible salad, but uh, it's a salad. Uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, I have funny filter. I'm not sure if I will keep this, but uh, just I'm uh, experiencing a new tool called Mum, Mum, something like that. So yeah. anyway, it's another topic. Thanks. Bye bye.